Hey babes, it's your girl Sophie and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you what's in my freelance makeup kit and the equipment I use for my clients. I'm super excited to be showing you guys this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up. Okay, you guys, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I want to talk to you guys about is my equipment that I always bring along with me um, and have in my studio or when I'm traveling. So before I get into the suitcase which carries all of my clients makeup and all that stuff i want to talk about these besties of mine so this chair right over here is what's been saving my back um as i do makeup so i needed to find a chair that i wasn't going to be like tiptoeing or if i wasn't going to be hunching down too much with my clients so this one i found on amazon and that's usually where I find like most of my equipment from. So I love you Amazon because you guys came in clutch. I'm going to try to find the links for all of these items so I can put them in the description bar down below. So I love this chair for a lot of reasons. The main reason being that it has two tables on either side. This table over here has some compartments that my hairstylist can put her blow dryer, her iron, her curling iron and all that fun stuff. It has this bag where I used to um, put my sponges in. It has two cup holders. When I'm not working in my studio and I have a very tight space to work with, this chair comes in handy because of the tables. I can just work off the tables and from inside my suitcase. Now over here I have my ring light. So this ring light I also got from Amazon. This is actually the smaller ring light and I used to have the, the bigger ones. I think it's the 24 inch ones. But for traveling purposes it became a hassle so I bought this one. It's the 18 inch. I also use the orange lighting. Um, it varies depending where I am. Sometimes I'll even take out some of the parts and have a mix of orange and um, white lights. It just really depends how I'm feeling and usually the lighting that I'm working with and the pictures and all that fun stuff. But for now, lately I've been loving the yellow lighting mixed with my white light that comes from my vanity. Okay, you guys, so this suitcase was another one that I got on Amazon. But I still needed a big enough suitcase that I can fit all of my makeup for when I'm traveling or even when I'm working in studio. All of my clients' makeup stays in here all the time. When I'm working in my studio, I'll I'll kind of like open the makeup case and just work from inside the makeup case. And it'll make a lot of sense once you see inside. So let's go ahead and get started. This is, like I said, the main compartment where I carry most of my things. So right off the bat, you see over here my brushes. I love it because it comes with um, this compartment. It's like a detachable makeup brush holder. And it's awesome because I'm able to fit all of the brushes that I need for my clients. Um, well, at least the main brushes that I use. As you can see, I stuff a lot of different brushes in each little um, pocket. But these are the brushes that I use on my clients. Um, some of them are not clean at the moment because I had a client earlier today. But these are the brushes I use. I'm not going to go through each and every one of them. But it is a mix of Morphe. Um, it's a mix of BH Cosmetics. Il Maquillage, and those are like the main brushes that I have in here. Honestly, more than half of these brushes are Morphe. I live by Morphe, and I love all their brushes. They're great quality, very affordable. The great thing is that I can just flip this over and still have this attached, so I can, as I'm working on a client, just grab and use it and then put it back in the compartments. If you guys want me to do a video of exactly what brushes I love for myself and for my clients, I can do an in-depth video. Moving along, I have this little pouch right over here. It also came with the suitcase. Um, this as well comes with the suitcase. And I use this to hold all of my lip liners and a lip gloss. So basically, this is mainly for my lip liners. The first thing over here is this MAC lip gloss. And it's a clear gloss. I absolutely love this gloss. I love to put it on top of MAC because as you guys know mattes do last longer than gloss so my lip liners arrange a lot I have a lot of drugstore ones that I just kind of pick up and have collected this one is Maybelline all of these right over here are um, NYX some are also from LA Girl. So I bought these three lip liners from Dose of Color. This red one is called Hot Ticket Lip Liner. This one is called Escape Lip Liner. And then this one is called Truth or Babe. Those are some of my favorite nudes. I also have some of these. They're from Gerard Cosmetics that I love as well. They're mauves and browns. Um, this one is called Nude. 
This one is called Sugar and Spice. And then this one is called Mudslide. So I'm going to put it in the same order for you guys. That's how it looks. Moving on, those were my lip liners. Over here, I just have a little towel that I will um, lay on and put my palettes and my makeup so I don't get my client's table dirty or I won't get my table dirty. Over here, I have um, the Ardell Demi Wispies. I bought these not too long ago because I was running low on lashes. But yeah, these are always kind of my go-to when I'm running low on lashes because I usually buy a bulk order of lashes online. Moving on, I have over here some baby wipes and I mainly just use this to clean my palettes, clean my tin pan in between clients and basically just to clean, also clean my hand when I have a lot of swatches or foundation. So yeah, just basically for sanitary purposes. Um, this pan I got from the makeup club but you can also buy a few online on Amazon. And then over here, I have some travel size and makeup wipes. So I very rarely ever use these. These are just like my backup that I have at home. The brand that I always use is the Pond's Makeup Towelettes. I've used them for years and they've never failed on me. I've actually had some problems with the Neutrogena wipes, which is why I stopped using it. There was a few clients that were like allergic to it. So the Pond's one has never given me an issue. Moving on, I have a fan over here, and this is what I use to fan my clients after sp um, spraying some setting spray. I need to get a new fan because this one's basically broken. I literally use this all the time for every one of my clients. It's just, I guess, part of the experience. It also makes it very refreshing after you spray the setting spray. So yes, a fan has been a must for me. I think I'm going to start with the palettes first. Um, the first ones I want to talk about are these blush palettes. These are my absolute favorite blush trios. These are from a brand called Alemar Cosmetics. And I absolutely love the owner, Gabby T. She's Cuban. And this is Alemar. is actually where she was born or where her family is from. So I think it's it's a beautiful story behind the brand. So I was actually a makeup artist on set for the launch of these blushes. I did a few of the models that are online on the website. It was honestly so exciting to be part of this um, blush launch and Gabby was actually the one that let me keep these blushes so I definitely hold them close and I always, always reach for them. So I have it in light, medium and dark. This is light, probably the one that I use the most, especially this one right over here. It hit pan already. This one is medium. I also love using this one. I've hit pan on these two. And then last but not least, they also have dark, which I love this one for my darker skin clients. These are definitely a must in my kit. I absolutely love them. And they are some amazing pigmented blushes. Moving on, I have this highlight palette. I don't know if, if some OG subscribers of mine may find this a little bit familiar. It's from Sophie Cosmetics. I used to have my own cosmetics line. It's right now on a temporary kind of hold, but I do um, in the future really want to start it up again. I actually made these highlighters myself. They are cruelty-free, vegan, and handmade. You know, gotta rep myself. So I love using these babies. So the first one over here is this Morphe 12P palette and it is just a colorful palette. So, you know, you always want to have a nice colorful palette in your kit because you never know. My other palettes are just kind of with basic eyeshadow colors. So it's always good to have an eyeshadow palette that has colors in it because you just never know what your client wants. Moving on, I have the Dose of Colors Hidden Treasures palette, and honestly, the shimmers is what I reach for the most in this palette. Um, Pearl is a really nice one, Diamonds is also a really nice one, and Gemstone. Now, of course, you can't go wrong with some Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have a love-hate relationship with these palettes, as you guys can see, and I'm sure if you guys have these, you know that this material gets dirty so easily, and I have tried wiping these down, I have tried everything, I don't know how to freaking clean them, and and I feel like it, they look dirty, but in reality, it's just like it, the fuzziness just traps in all of the eyeshadow. So if you guys know a way to clean these, please, please, please down below comment. Let me know. Are the Soft Glam and Modern Renaissance. I absolutely love these palettes. I go to them, as you can see, often. I've hit pan on quite a few. And I have the Morphe 8H palette. This is my ride or die contour and bronzing highlighting palette. These colors over here work so amazing on every single, not every single, but most of my clientele. These bronzers are absolutely amazing, buttery, warm, bronzy, 
like this palette is amazing. I absolutely love it. I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Palette. It looks like this. It is honestly my favorite. I just recently purchased it. I am the type of artist that I love, love, love working with brow powders. And I always, for every client, use brow powders. So I knew that this investment is going to pay off itself just because I absolutely love the formula and the packaging and all of that fun stuff. So definitely recommend. Now the last palette, I actually have it under this box and it is the Morphe 39A. Look at all of this color. I'm so upset because this one was the matte black and it broke off. Um, but honestly, I absolutely love this palette. Definitely recommend it. The formula is amazing. Morphe always comes through with great affordable palettes and this one is one that I absolutely love having in my kit. I'm going to show you this box right over here. I actually purchased this box at Hobby Lobby. It was in the um, craft section. I use it to store my disposables and um, a few other things. So right over here, as you can see, I do store my disposables. I have my lip disposables and my mascara wands. Get these both on Amazon. Over here, I have a pencil sharpener for my lip liners, my eyeliners, and all that fun stuff. Over here, I have some individual lashes just because sometimes clients want individuals and then I have my tools so I'll have some baby scissors for cutting lashes and other things and then I have my tweezers I have another pair of tweezers just a different style depending how I feel I have lash curler and I have this um, mixer for when I'm mixing foundation colors onto the pan that I showed earlier over here I have a variety of different things I have some cotton pads for um, prepping the skin or removing makeup, things like that. And then I also will usually carry Q-tips in here. I only have one, but I need to refill that. Over here I have some hand sanitizer, of course. I have some lash glue. This is what I've been using for a long time now. It is the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive with Aloe Vera. I also have some hair clips in here to pull back my client's hair when needed. Over here I have shadow shields that I got at a makeup store. And I have some chapstick. I absolutely love this chapstick for my clients. It is the Ultra Repair Intensive Lip Balm from First Aid Beauty. It is amazing. And then last but not least I have this Lorac Take a Brow um, Duo. I mainly use this for the wax that's in here. That is basically it for this box. Basically it's just what carries some tools, disposables, and all that important stuff. These foundations right over here are all from the brand Elsie Cosmetics. I have four different shades. I have, well, I'm going to show you in order. So I have porcelain, which is the lightest shade. Then I have sand. I also have vanilla. And then last but not least, I have chestnut. So these four foundations, I honestly have been loving. They're definitely my go-to. I also have three shades of the Tarte Face Tape Foundations. I have been obsessed with these, honestly. They are amazing, they're vegan, they're cruelty-free, and they are full, full coverage for clients that have acne or acne scars. This is one of the um, foundations that I always go to. So I have in the color Medium Neutral, and then Tan Honey, and last but not least, Deep Neutral. I have a random Bobbi Brown um, skin foundation. I have back over here some concealers. These are the Born This Way concealers from Too Faced. I have two different shades. This one is in Natural Beige and Mahogany. This is the Makeup Brush Cleaner from Cinema Secrets. And I am obsessed with this brush cleaner. This is what I used to spot through my brushes before, in between, and after clients. And you guys... I don't know what it is about this, but it smells so freaking good. You don't know how many times I get my clients telling me like, oh my god, your brushes smell so good, and it is the brush cleaner. It honestly smells like cotton candy. It is the best thing ever. It disinfects, it cleans the brush completely, taking away all of the bacteria or the colors that were left on it, and honestly, I recommend it so, so much. also have these big boys right over here, so I'll buy these and then just... Whatever this one's done, I kind of just refill them. 
this is just easier to travel with of course and and you know it sprays well and all that stuff so I buy these all the time I actually have two bottles of these but I wanted to show you um, this little trick I have the Japanese create beauty makeup setting spray i love it because of the way that it sprays it sprays almost like a hairspray have this icon london prep set and glow i'll use this for the body now i have this milani make it dewy 16 hour wear setting spray i love it because it's really good for clients that have extremely dry skin and it really does make it dewy over here I have the Scandinavia Oil Control Makeup Finishing Spray. This is great for my clients with oilier skin because it does hold the oils. And then another spray is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I'll use this um, when I'm skin prepping. Really a nice spray for in between, for skincare, and also just to refresh the face again. Moving on, I have these two bottles right over here. This one is actually a bottle of alcohol. And then this one is a bottle of water. These are two spray bottles of alcohol I use for sanitation. So I'll basically spray the alcohol before I wipe off my makeup pan to disinfect it. And for sanitation purposes, it's always good to have some alcohol. And then, of course, some water. So instead of wasting my setting spray, anytime I pick up a shimmer on an eyeshadow brush, I'll spray the eyeshadow brush and then apply. And it just makes the eyeshadow um, come out 10 times more pigmented. And then over here, I have the... Skin Active Micellar Water Cleanser from um, Garnier. I have this to clean my clients' faces if they come with makeup on or even if they don't come with makeup on. I always like to, you know, clean their faces before. So we finished the whole top compartment. Now for the secret surprise, the drawers in the bottom. Bam! We got some drawers. Honestly, this is what sold this um, makeup travel suitcase case however you want to call it kit this is what sold this kit to me the fact that there's drawers so with this I feel like it's easy to work with like I said I work a lot from within my kit so I just open the drawers everything is in their space I know exactly where everything is so it just really helps when you're organized as a makeup artist because it makes the job faster easier so right over here I have all of my powders. Here are three Laura Mercier powders, and I recently purchased these, and I absolutely love them. They are the Cancel Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder. So I have it in one, three, and five. I love them because it gives a lovely finish to the face. It sets the face with also giving it a glow. The only downfall is, I would say, the shade range. Over here, I have the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, the OG. And then moving back over here, I have the Ben Nye Banana Powder. And I also have the Makeup Revolution Luxurious Baking Powder. And this is in the color, I'm not sure. I know it's not banana, it's um, terracotta. So there's that one. And then this one is the Cover FX Powder in their darker shade as well, translucent and deep. It's just a travel size. Then over here, I just have some backup um, setting powders. They are the CoverGirl Matte Ambition, just in case one of my clients want a um, matte look. Over here, I have everything that has to do with skincare and skin prep. So I am going to get comfortable. This is the LC Pearl Radiance Primer. I absolutely have been loving it. It's a pump and it gives a really nice finish and a nice glow to my client's face. Over here, I have the Ember Lease um, Moisturizer. I absolutely have been loving this moisturizer. It works for all skin types. Another primer, this is the Bare Minerals Blemish Rescue Primer. And I love this for um, my clients that have oily skin. I basically use a mix of these two if they have combination. I have another primer. This is the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming. This is for my clients that have extremely excessive oily skin. This is what's going to keep your oils intact for the rest of the night. On, I have the Ole Hendrickson Banana Brightening Eye Cream. I have a Glam Glow for my brides. I'll use this always um, to prep my bride's skin. I have a Sugar Lip Scrub. And then over here I have some eye patches for usually my brides. 
Um, when it comes to, oh, I just dropped that. Um, when it comes to my brides, I like to give a very nice um, skin prep just because I charge a lot more for brides and I feel like it's all about the experience. Now over here I have a um, travel size of the professional from Benefit and then over here I have some serums from Drunk Elephant and this is a Pixie Glycolic Boost Mask. <laughs> Moving on to this drawer right over here. This is my lip drawer. All of my MAC lipsticks right over here. This one's pink plaid. This one's ruby rue. And this is a staple lipstick in my kits because I love the color. Over here I have whirl. I love this one as well. This one's a good mauve brown color. Velvet Teddy is a go-to, of course. This is actually another um, Velvet Teddy. Last but not least, we have Yosh. It's a beautiful nude, which is running out as well. But I absolutely love it. So we have the color Poet. Then we have Driver, which is one of my favorite ones. We have Amazonian, I believe. This one's another good one. And then we have this nice burgundy shade. This one is called Vulgar. And then, last but not least, I have this uh, Cherry Red, which is called pointer. I have some mini lipsticks of the Dose of Colors. I wanted to try out to see if I like these colors before buying full sizes. These are three Anastasia Beverly Hills lipsticks. This is the color Dread, which is a nice brown kind of dark color. This one is in the color Spice. Looks like this. Ouch. Back over here, I have some lip glosses from Dose of Colors. Absolutely love these. This one is called On Repeat. And this lovely nude one is called Honey, I'm Home. And then I have three more liquid lipsticks from Dose of Colors. This one, oh, actually this was in lip gloss. I'm sorry. This nude lip gloss is Can You Not? Love that. And then two of these are liquid lippies. The red one is called Kiss of Fire. And then this one is called Bear With Me. Over here I have all of my concealers so I'm gonna zoom it in a little bit so you guys can get a better look these three FX power play concealers are what I've been absolutely loving lately this one is in the color and fair one this one is G light 2 and this one's G medium 4 Moving on, I have a very big collection of the um, LA Girl Pro concealers. Bad Boy right over here from Makeup Revolution is what I use to contour. Another cream contouring shade is from Anastasia Beverly Hills, Walnut. This is their uh, foundation sticks. These are the Makeup Forever concealers. But for my clients with dry skin, I will reach towards these concealers mainly just because they're very hydrating and they're not so thick. So moving on, we are getting close to the bottom drawers. So my camera basically overheated and stopped recording just seconds after that video clip you just saw. So I decided to take this still image of the drawer so I can kind of talk to you a little bit about what's in this drawer. This one is kind of like a random drawer. It has eyeliners, mascaras, um, brow gels, and then it has some bronzers. It has highlighters. Um blushes as well as loose pigments and all of the brands vary from Ramel, London, Laura Geller, um, Milani, BH Cosmetics, CoverGirl, Artist Couture, um, L'Oreal. This drawer kind of has a random mix of things but if there's any um, product that catches your eye that you really want to know the name of just let me know in the comments below and I will reply with the name of the product and all that information this drawer right over here and this is my glitter drawer all of these right over here are Stila um, either liquid eyeshadows or glitter shadows and I absolutely love these this one is in diamond dust probably one of my favorites this one is in rose gold retro and then this one right over here is in gold goddess those three are my go-to for when I ever need to do a client that wants something with glitter I just use these colors over here I have some other ones as well these are from NYX and they are very close dupes I also have a ton of these NYX um, liquid liners in different 
bright, vibrant colors. Back over here, I have some loose glitters from Elo Cosmetics um, and from different brands. I have them in gold, silver, pink, blue. Now, moving on, over here is like an extra foundation drawer. Um, I have the LA Girl Pro foundations and I have my darkest colors and I have my lightest color, which is like a white. I have this L'Oreal True Match foundation. It's kind of just there if I ever have someone who's very, very fair skinned. The Smashbox 24 hour um, Studio Skin Full Coverage foundations in a few different shades. I also have this Cover FX powder. It's like a translucent powder. I have this NYX concealer back here that has a few different shades. And then this um, brow pomade from BA Cosmetics. Last but not least, I have this drawer right over here, and this truly is my drawer of random stuff. And I feel like we all have that in some part of our organization. But this big bronze and glow powder, um, this is for the face and body. I, I really love using this on my clients' chest, shoulders, um, collarbones, and all that fun stuff. Blushes from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Just because, why not? You know, random lip glosses. These are the Alamad Cosmetics lip glosses. There's a pixie gloss in there. We have a NYX uh, liquid suede. We have a Kat Von D. So I have this L'Oreal Lumi Glow Lotion. I love to either mix this with the foundation or apply on the body. Liquid Glow from ABH. I love, love, love these. I'll use it for the same concept, whether it's on the body, mix with the foundation, or even before applying foundation. I'll put this on their face. This one is in bronze, and then this one is in oyster. I have this Cover FX Glitter Drops. <laughs> Now to finish off this, um, what's in my makeup kit over here in these pockets, I have some stuff. I always like to carry some bounty or paper towel with me so I can spot clean my brushes. Um, I also have a mirror so my clients can see up close and personal. This side over here, I have my lashes they are from different brands. I do know that I got these at the beauty supply store. Um, these are from the brand AOA, but I also get most of my lashes from a brand called Cara. Um, but yeah, it's kind of mixed up. Sometimes I'll buy from the beauty supply store, sometimes I'll buy online. It really just depends. That is basically it for what's in my makeup kit. But I hope you guys found this video very informative. I know I haven't been showing my face. Your girl looks a little, she looks a little crazy right now, you know? So I just wanted this video to be more focused on what's in my kit and, you know, just a very informative and knowledgeable video for you makeup artists out there. So I definitely recommend everything that's in here. And if you have any recommendations for me, make sure to comment down below and let me know but that is basically it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed bye guys thank you so much for watching